All right, welcome back. In this part, we're gonna cover functions and why do we wanna create functions, how do we create them, and why they are awesome. So let's start off with creating a, another variable here. So we're gonna call this const and we're gonna call it name, all right? Super original. And we're gonna call it dev add, like so. Good, we're gonna save this. And now we're gonna create a function. So what is a function? A simple way to explain a function is a set of code that we're gonna write to do things for us. So we just it, we just separate a specific task that we had into a function. So in a real life example, it would be something like eat is a function because it has more steps. So you go into the kitchen, grab the food, you prepare the food, and then you're gonna eat it. And then if you want, you can wash the plates if you want. <laughs> and that's the whole process, okay? So the function would be a set of code that you write that does a task, all right? So rather than doing like grab food, eat food, whoa and write a whole bunch of crap down here, rather than doing this, we can create a function that's gonna isolate everything uh, that we want it to do. So to, to show you a great example, uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna introduce you to something that we can do on this name. So <clears throat> what we can do is, the way we create a function is we're gonna write function like so, and again, we can give it a name, like, let's say this function is gonna take our, our name here and it's gonna put everything in uppercase, all right? So we're gonna name this upper case, like so. And it's a good convention also to use a lowercase here and then uppercase here. So let's say you want to have a variable called gallery images, const gallery images, like so. So this is how we're going to write it, uh, just because it's going to make everything more clear. It's going to make everything more visible on what's going on. And it's just basically a convention that people use. So rather than doing it lowercase like this, and then everything just goes together like this, it's going to look ugly and it's going to be hard to, um, to read it and like this, it's, everything is just gonna be more visible. So anyways, this is why we wrote it like this. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna open up some parentheses like so, and then some brackets like so. All right, I'm gonna go over what all of these do. But what we did here is we created a function and in here we can give a set of instructions of what we wanted to do. Now let's for now rename this, uh, rename this to logger. And here, let's say we're gonna console log party time, party time, like so, all right, multiple times. And the way I did that is I just hold shift and alt and press down on the down arrow and it's just gonna multiply. Uh, it's gonna create a copy of this down here, all right. So this is our function. It's just gonna console a party time, party time, four times. Good, but if we look at our code, our console here, nothing's happening. Why is that? Well, this is not gonna execute. So when we run this code, what's gonna happen basically is JavaScript is gonna take a look at this and it's gonna say, oh, okay, so we have a name variable. All right, it has a value of dev ed. Cool, I'm gonna save this in memory, nice. Okay, we have a function here and it has console logs or whatever you want. Cool, I'm gonna save this in memory. So whenever we wanna run the function, uh, we need to run it, we need to run it. So this is just saving it to memory, all right? It's not actually doing anything right now. <clears throat> so the way we run this code is we're gonna write the name of it like so, logger at the parentheses, and then we're gonna close it like so, so the way we did it so far. Hit save, 
and now you're gonna see party time, party time, party time, party time. So this is called a function invocation, all right? So this is where you wanna execute your function. So this is all it does. Cool, but why do we need to add these things here? And why are these brackets here? Well, the thing is that the brackets mean that everything that's available here is only available here. And what do I mean by that is if we take this const name and add it in here, like so, our name down here is not gonna be available. So what's gonna happen here is we pass uh, the variable in this function, so it's only gonna be available in here, all right? Name is not gonna be available down here, all right? So whatever variables you add inside the function are not gonna be available down here outside of the function, all right? So basically what these are called to quickly go through, this is called the global scope and this, called, this is called the function scoped, all right? So, but however, if you add this to global scope, then in here, console log name this is going to be available here. So everything from global scope is going to be available in our function scope. However, variables declared in our function scope are not going to be available in our global scope. So whatever you have in your function is closed and whatever you have in global is available everywhere. Okay. That's all you need to know for now. All right, cool. So let's delete this. And why do we need these? Well, now it's the time to change this to, to upper. So we're gonna do our text to uppercase. Cool, so let's invoke it again here to upper, like so. Close, let's see if we get party time, good. Or rather than having party time, we wanna get this and make it uppercase, cool. So what we can do here is we can add, the reason why we add these parentheses is that we can add a parameter to it. And what the parameter does is basically you can inject uh, a, co a variable or a value inside of it and it's gonna run down here. You're gonna have access to it down here. So what I mean by that is, let's say we have, actually let's see, let's say we want to add two numbers together so two let's say adder like so so here what we can do is we can console log and we're gonna say let's just add two values here so you can name these whatever you want you can say number one number two with commas okay so here we can console log number one plus number two all right, now this doesn't make any sense. What is number one and what is number two? We don't know. And we console log the addition down here. Cool. Well, it makes no sense until you invoke the function. So adder here, we can pass in here the two different numbers that we want. And that's gonna be injected in the parameter here and then it's gonna pass down here and add the numbers together. So if we add five here and five or 10, then the five is gonna go in here. So it's basically it's gonna be injected in here. 10 is gonna be injected in here. And then the console log, it's gonna add these two numbers together. So if we save, we're gonna get 15 here. So that's, that's why we use the parentheses is because we can add um, different parameters in here. Now, why is this useful? Well, again, if we go back, <laughs> I'm jumping around with this to uppercase 10,000 times, but if we add the two upper, well, we know that we are gonna get a text that we wanna uppercase. Now, we, can, we might need different kind of text to be uppercased, so we don't wanna just execute it on this, and I'm gonna show you in one bit. So let's just say we have a text in here. And what we can do here is we can get the text and if we add dot, we can call additional functions that are built into JavaScript. So uh, strings, so text, 
uh, have different functions built into them. Numbers have different built-in functions that we can use uh, on our code. So we can do text.2 upper case, like so. And then we do the parameters again. This is something inbuilt in JavaScript uh, that's gonna make our text uppercase. So now we can say console log text, like so. Hit save, and down here we can say to upper, and now what we can do is we can inject the name from up here down here. So if we say name and we check, well, actually what we need to do is we can take and create a new variable rather than just console logging text because that, that that's the value that's gonna be console logged. What we can do is we can create a const called upper cased like so. So we create a new variable in this function and we just set it equal to our text that we get from our parameter and then uppercase it. So we can console log uppercase here. So if we hit save, then you're going to see that everything is uppercase like so. So again, to walk through this super fast, we create a function like so. We give it a name, so just like variables. This is a parameter. Uh, here we create a new variable and we just set it equal to our parameter that's going to come in, which is the name. So we're passing the name, uh, this one, from up here into here. So this is dev ed here. And then our uppercase is going to be equal to dev ed dot to uppercase. So this is a, again, a, a function that's already built in for us that we can use on our text. And then we just console log the uppercase. So that's how we can use functions. So the cool thing now is that we can create const uh, YouTuber is equal to uh, name a YouTuber, Traversy Media, right? So down here, we can just say to upper YouTuber. And boom, we should have Traversy Media all uppercase. So there we go. That's how, that's, that's the basics of functions that we can use. And later on, we're gonna cover, again, different functions that are already built in for us that we can use. All right, so this is one way we can use a function. I'm gonna delete everything here. Another way we can use one is by doing the way we do variables, which I prefer actually rather than this. So then this method. So what we can do is we can do const uh, and we can write, give it a name. So to upper like so equal to, and we can set it equal to a function just like normal. Okay. So this is another version you can use. And the last version, uh, which is the modern version, we can use this is rather than writing this whole function thing, uh, we can make this one shorter. So we don't even need to write function. So what you can replace here is you can remove the function keyword and after the parameters, you can just add an equal and a bigger than sign. So this is uh, the shortest way you can write a function. So you set it equal to a some empty parameters that you have here and you do equal and bigger than sign. So you don't need to write function anymore. So these are the three ways. I prefer this way. Uh, you can use different ones, but I thought I'd show all three of them for you. All right, so that's it. Those are functions, basically. And in the next video, we're gonna cover arrays, objects, and all the other good stuff. So thanks again for watching. Uh, the next videos are gonna be up in like one or two days. So I'm gonna release three parts again for you. All right, thank you so much for watching again. Uh, please drop a subscribe and I'm gonna see you in a bit. Bye-bye.